Hey guys, Shane Sarms with DroidModerX.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Just Like Glass Nano Screen Protector of the Galaxy S4 by DDA Cases. Um, if you guys can remember, just a few weeks ago, I did put out a review video for the DBA cases for the Note 3. I have thoroughly enjoyed my DBA cases uh, for the Note 3, especially this black one. It has been on my phone since the case review, and I've not taken it off. I uh, like it a whole lot. Uh, but today we're going to be looking at the glass protector. Real quickly, we'll look at the back of the packaging. You do have full instructions on how to install uh, the screen protector. You can see it's pretty easy. We're going to clean it peel the protective side align and stick and then we'll seal and then peel the other side off and you can see how it's built so you actually have two layers of nano glass uh, surrounding the screen protector itself so it's going to feel like glass that's one thing that i hate about traditional screen protectors is they feel like you're touching plastic and i really don't want to feel like i'm touching plastic i bought a premium device i want to feel like i'm uh, feeling glass whenever I slide my finger across the screen. This is what the nano glass screen protector is uh, designed to do. is designed to look and feel just like glass. Real quickly I just wanted to show you some features of the just like glass nano screen protector. Uh, increased sensitivity, impact resistant, uh, so this will actually add not only uh, will it add scratch resistance, but it'll actually add impact resistance if you were to drop your device. It is also fingerprint resistant, just normal glass on your phone tracks fingerprints but this is made of a product that is fingerprint resistant and it is scratch resistant shows you the hardness there as well so we'll go ahead and take it out of the box okay so the first thing we want to do is clean the screen with the alcohol with the alcohol pad trying to get all of the dust and grease off the screen before we apply the screen protector okay and then we'll take the microfiber cloth that's included and dry off all the alcohol remove any dust that's left on the screen it should be super super clean with no dust or grease on the screen itself okay when it's all done you should have a nice clean screen of course if you're in a dusty environment you may pick up some dust, so be careful of that. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and take the screen protector out of its packaging. Okay, it says to remove the first side of adhesive, and then stick that down to the screen. Okay, so remove the first dust protector, and then we'll stick it to our phone. Just make sure that you line it up as perfectly as you can. It's going to be difficult to do that while I'm operating the camera, but we'll try our best. It may take you a few tries. Don't rush. And if you accumulate some dust, there is a sticker that you can try to get the dust off that way. Okay, so you want to try to get this as close to perfect as possible before you put it on because it is kind of difficult to remove. Once you've got it set, but I would suggest probably not using the speaker as a guide, but rather using the home button. I'll try to correct this later, but for the sake of the video, we'll just continue. Uh, what you want to do next is peel off the secondary screen and then remove all of the air bubbles. If you have any dust in here at this point, you'll want to make sure to try to peel back the screen and grab those with the included dust sticker. So you'll take your squeegee and do your best job to remove any air bubbles. Okay, so after a few minutes you should have all the air bubbles out. I still have a few left here. Uh, this little air bubble is from where I didn't line it up properly um, and it's kind of catching the speaker there. I'll fix that after a while. Uh, but you guys kind of get the picture on that. Once you have all the air bubbles removed you should be good to go. And then it does say that you want to make sure that all edges are stuck firmly. That way it doesn't peel off later on. And uh, just on first impressions, it feels pretty nice. I mean, it doesn't feel like plastic. It really does feel like glass. This so guys it has been the Just Like Glass Nano Screen Protector by DBA Cases. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com where I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next 